Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like us to thank God for enabling each and every one of us to be here today. You know guys, I'll never stop and I'll never hesitate to always remind you that you must be quick to thank God each and every day you are blessed to see a new day. You know, God is your creator and he knows why he put you on this earth. He has a plan and purpose over your life. So every day you wake up, Please remember, your plan is still in motion. So always say thank you to God for that gift, which is a new day. Guys, as usual, I leave my social media details and my email right on the screen there. And so if you'd like to reach out to me, you know, could be a question you have, could be a topic, could be a difficult situation you're going through and you need maybe prayers, you need support, you need someone to talk to, don't hesitate. Chat me up on my social media pages and I'll do my very best to try and get back to each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't hesitate. Press the subscription button and remember the notification bell so that you're always alerted when we post a new video, which by God's grace is normally each and every Sunday. Well, guys, new week, new video. And in today's video, I want us to talk about wearing masks. You know, during COVID, we all had to wear masks. And this was a very interesting season because, you know, we're not used to wearing masks. We're used to be open and, exp and uh, you can see someone for who they are. But during this period, we all had to wear masks, you know, to protect ourselves from infection and to protect others in the event that you had an infection. But I remember an interesting thing about wearing masks was that if you met somebody, you know, you could not completely tell how they looked because you only had vision of very limited parts of their body. And so it was up to you to sit there and say, you know what, maybe they have this, maybe they have that. Do they have a beard? Don't they have a beard? You know, do they have, you know, the body feature, the facial features was something you had to fill in the blanks on. And that was a very interesting season. And I remember there are a lot of people I met probably during that season. But unfortunately, I met them with masks on. And so now that we lifted wearing of masks, if I meet them, it's hard for me to identify who they are because I didn't have a complete picture of them. And this is something we have been doing in our lives, my friends. It's called emotional masking. You see, we have hidden our emotions from others and from the world. And sometimes it gets so critical that we hide them from ourselves. You know, in a world where we only share positive things, then when you're seated alone with your thoughts, you think that your life is a complete mess. We are social in the wrong media. You know, social media allows us to communicate to others far and wide, but we have made a habit of using it only to show what is good. And so what happens is for a lot of people who that is not a reality, what they do is they learn to mask, they learn to hide the emotions or the truth of what it is they are going through. You know, there's something we call emotional outburst. This comes from masking and hiding your emotions. You know, last week I was talking to someone and they asked me a question. Daniel, are a lot of people happy on the outside, but dying on the inside? Are a lot of people wearing masks? You see, the analogy I used about the mask, I have one here. Same thing. You cannot tell if I'm smiling or if I'm pissed off. You can't tell because I have a mask on. And that's the same thing we have done in our lives today. You wake up in the morning and you wear a mask. You go to work, you're smiling, you're happy, you're doing everything for everyone. But the truth of the matter is, you are dying in the inside. You are losing yourself. You know, cases of suicide have gone up. There's a recent celebrity who committed suicide. And the most interesting part is nobody ever saw 
the other side of him. Nobody could tell that he was going through depression. Nobody could tell that things were hard in his life because he perfectly wore the emotional mask. You know, the other day I was having a conversation with some close friends of mine and I urged them and I begged them, let us be honest with each other. It would be very sad if I was going through something that is completely causing pain within me, but I cannot come open because of an emotional mask that I've worn. I'm suppressing my emotions, suppressing my feelings, suppressing those things that are completely making my life unbearable. A lot of us are doing that today. And today's video is simply to encourage you. Look for avenues, look for spaces where you can remove your mask and you can be real. But before you find these spaces, I want to ask you a question. Are you a person who somebody can be real with? Are you a person who someone can be open to when they are going through a situation, when they are going through a hard time? Because that is most of the challenge that we get. A lot of people don't have somebody they can go to. And so before you look for that someone, I want you to make yourself to be conducive for someone to come to you. If somebody's going through a hard time, let them be able to mask off and you can be there for them. As much as I want somebody to be there for me, I must be willing to be there for others. And so my friends, let us be quick, let us be keen, let us be careful because we have become professionals in wearing masks where we are smiling, but truly we are hurting. We are laughing, but truly we are crying. We are so alive in the outside, but inside we are dead. You know, once in a while, if you're keen, you'll realize that someone will try and project that which they are going through, maybe through their social media pages or whatever channels they use. And so you must be keen to these small things. Look at the symptoms. Sometimes when your friend starts pulling away, they don't talk as much as they used to. They seem as though they are forcing issues. Then you can realize something is off with them. And so let us help others demask as we also demask. Remove your mask. I don't want you to die alone. I don't want you to hurt alone. There are a lot of people who are willing to help you in this life we live today. And so my friends, I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to say, Masking your emotions might feel as though it helps you in the short run, but I'll tell you in the long run, it causes more hurt than pain. It can cause you to have outbursts on the people you love the most. It can cause you to destroy opportunities that you've worked so hard to get. And so purpose this year, but you will not have a mask on. Let your private life and public life be one. And seek God, because God created you for a purpose and plan, and he knows why you're going through what you're going through. And so guys, until next time, may you take care of yourselves. May the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. Until next time, take care and God bless.